In this Python NiceGUI tutorial, we will learn how to use the toggle element. We will make two toggle examples. You will also learn how to use the image element. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, I will create an application that contains labels. I am creating a variable. The parameter I send to the label function represents the name of the object. I save the code file and run the application. You can go to this address using a browser. I created a web page with a label. Let's create a toggle object. I am creating a variable. The list I sent to the toggle function represents the members of the toggle object. I am saving the code file. I created a toggle object with one member. I will add one more toggle object to the list. I am saving the code file. I created a toggle object with two members. I can set the default value of the toggle object. Value represents the default value. For example, I set the default value to text 2. When the program starts, the default value of the toggle object will be text 2. I am saving the code file. The default value of the toggle object is text 2. I set the default value to text 1. I am saving the code file. The default value of the toggle object is text 1. When the toggle objects are clicked, I will change the text of the label object. I can do this using the onChange feature. I will change the text of the label object using the setText function. I can access the value of the toggle object with value. I close the side tab to see better. I am saving the code file. The text of the label object changes depending on the toggle member I click on. Now I will add an image to the web page. I am creating a variable. I will use these images. You can download the images from the GitHub link in the description of the video. Or you can use different images. I am sending the JavaScript image to the image function. I am saving the code file. I added the image to the website. But the size is a little too big. I can make the image a little smaller by using the classes object. I am saving the code file. I made the image a little smaller. I am sending the Python image to the image function. I am saving the code file. I added the Python visual to the web page. I will create another toggle object. The members of the toggle object will be Python and JavaScript. I am saving the code file. I added the toggle object to the web page. Using the onChange feature, I will show the appropriate image on the screen according to the member clicked. I can change the image of the image object by using the setSource function. I use the value function to get the value of the toggle object. I am saving the code file. Appropriate text and images are displayed according to the click toggle objects. In this video, we learned how to use the toggle element. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.